You see this folder right here? It's classified. The speech is classified. <laughs> hello, my fellow Republicans, I mean fellow Americans, and hello, China. Good evening. My name is Nancy Mace. That's Mace like the pepper spray, unless your name is Lauren Boebert. And then it's pepper spray, a knife, a Glock, two hand grenades, and a missile. I want to thank the Washington Press Corps for inviting me to be here tonight. It's a huge honor to be here with so many powerful women. I got to have dinner with Connie Chung. Like it's lifetime. That's awesome. I want to thank the Democrats for welcoming me here with open arms. And I want to thank the Republicans for allowing me to travel out of state. <laughs> you just see the bill I'm filing tomorrow, actually. To all the New York Times reporters, good evening. And to everybody from the Washington Post, good luck on your job search. I know, it's so mean. You just wait till I drop an F-bomb later. It's happening. Connie Chong said I should drop an F-bomb, so we're going to do it about halfway through. There's only one reason that I was chosen to be your Republican speaker tonight. It's because Kevin McCarthy couldn't get the votes. <laughs> Thank God he's not here tonight, because I will probably be called into the principal's office tomorrow morning. Did you watch the? Uh, did you watch McCarthy during the speaker's vote? I know many of you uh, were in the halls of Congress during that vote. I haven't seen someone assume that many positions to appease the crazy Republicans and Stormy Daniels. <laughs> it only goes downhill from here, people. I mean, come on. But let's be honest. We all knew that Matt Gates would never let the vote get to 18. I hope that C-SPAN has a buzzer or a bleep because this shit is about to get real, okay? It only goes downhill from here. I do have a message from Matt this evening. He really, really wanted to be here tonight, but he couldn't find a babysitter. To be his date? I mean, come on. I tried looking for Ilan Omar in the audience too tonight, but it looks like she lost her seat. I, was, I thought I would get food on that one. <laughs> oh, there she is. There is. Where are you, baby? Oh, there you are. There you are. Okay. You're right there. I love it. I love it. I, I was a little concerned tonight about my colleague, Eric Swalwell. I had not seen him in the room yet. Last report, I saw a place from about six miles off the coast of Myrtle Beach, hanging on to a balloon from China. And this is a beautiful hotel, a beautiful former Trump property. Thank God it is not a current Trump hotel, because if it were, I would be standing out front all night recording videos. <laughs> but I do have a serious question for all of you reporters and media in the room tonight. If everyone from the media is here, who's back at your office covering up the Hunter Biden laptop story? <laughs> Where are y'all? But that brings me to Hunter's father. Not to say that Joe Biden is a political liability, but Hunter no longer takes his calls or pays his rent. Will he or won't he run for office? I think Joe Biden knows, but he just forgot. Did you see the speech last night? I mean, come on, State of the Union. All right, I know George Santos hoped to deliver tonight's keynote, but organizers are lovely, beautiful organizers, wanted someone who could tell a joke, but not actually be one. <laughs> Come on, George, you've given Republicans a bad name, and that's Lauren Boebert's job. <laughs> Just kidding, Lauren, don't shoot. <laughs> I mean, really, like, who lies about, being a, about playing college volleyball? Like, who does that? If you're gonna lie, at least make it about something big. Like you actually won the 2020 presidential election. <laughs> but Santos certainly gets attention. There hasn't been a Republican that's gotten this much buzz since Lauren Boebert went through a metal detector. 
I was one of the first Republicans, I know there's some New Yorkers in here too, Republicans, who asked, uh, who said Santos should resign. Santos should step down to show people you can't lie, cheat, and steal to win an election. Unless, of course, if you're Donald Trump or Joe Biden. I said this so this can air on Fox News and CNN. I go both ways. I mean, come on. You got it. You got it. Okay, this is my last George Santos joke. I promise. This is the very last one. George Santos is such an abortion. Herschel Walker sent him a get well card. Now, speaking, it's bad, baby. I'm on to you now, okay? Now, speaking of Herschel Walker, we have the senator, the reverend, the pastor, the doctor, the preacher, Raphael Warnock here tonight. And it is a true honor to be up here as one of the keynotes with you tonight. If you haven't met him, the first thing he'll tell you is that he's a preacher. And if I say something bad, he can literally send me to hell. After that last joke, I'm pretty sure you'd agree. I'm going there anyway. And I look forward to seeing all of you there when I get there. Some think that Raphael Warnock is the future of the Democrat Party. But nothing says political superstar like needing a runoff to beat Herschel Walker. <laughs> I, I, I mean, you were all over the damn place in the campaign, but at least Herschel Walker had a clear message that uh, helmets in the 80s didn't have enough padding. I mean, like, seriously, how do you, I, even you're laughing now, how do you almost, I got the preacher to laugh, but how do you almost lose an election to Herschel Walker? Like, really, that's like almost losing a slam dunk contest to Kevin Hart. Georgia gave us both Raphael Warnock and Marjorie Taylor Greene. She's here tonight. Where is she? Wave your hand, baby. She's here somewhere. Some say that's bipartisan. It's not. It's bipolar. <laughs> the thing about the Senate, Raphael, is y'all are so, so old. It's not a chamber of government. It's a nursing home with a podium. Last week when the Senate was discussing defense spending, someone said B-52, and half the chamber went, bingo. There you go. That's you, baby. That's all you. But enough about the Senate. Let's move on to the House. It's called the Wild West. On the other hand, in the House, we have some very, very young members. Uh, where is he? Maxwell Frost? Oh, my God, he disappeared. I thank God he's not here because these jokes are going to be really bad. <laughs> All right, have y'all met Maxwell Frost? Yeah. He's 25 years old. <laughs> Fuck you. I have, I have stretch marks your age. That's ridiculous. Maxwell Frost should be a unit of measure. Like Joe Biden and Nancy Pelosi are four Maxwell Frost <laughs> years old. The youngest person in Congress came from Florida. That seems like that very wrong like, the wrong, like the worst stereotype. That's like saying the gayest member of Congress came from Utah. <laughs> just saying, just saying. Maxwell has, <laughs> I know it's so bad. <laughs> Maxwell's been open about having bad credit. Now the squad has AOC and IOU. I bet seeing a Florida man with terrible credit win an election gives a former president great hope for 2024. <laughs> By the way, Maxwell, I'm sorry, Elon. If you're desperate for a credit card, just marry Elon Omar. She'll give you a visa. It's bad. It's a roast, okay? It's going to get bad. It's going to get worse. We have a few more characters in the house. I've never seen someone carry more guns than Lauren Boebert. And remember, I did work at a Waffle House. <laughs> Lauren used to own a restaurant called Shooters. That's like Matt Gates owning a restaurant called Jailbaits. <laughs> or 
it could be like Hunter Biden owning a restaurant called Crackheads. Or Ilan Amar owning a restaurant called Anti-Semites. I'm not, I got Marjorie Taylor Greene over in the corner. It's coming, it's coming. All right, Marjorie Taylor Greene is quite a little bit of a conspiracy theorist. Don't tell her this, and I gotta tell this secret in front of all these people and you're here, but my nickname for her behind the scenes is Alexis Jones. The other day she saw a Geico ad and said, I told you there are lizard people. Recently there's been a lot of talk about anti-Semitism, but since Marjorie Taylor Greene started behaving, the, late, uh, the, the rate of Jewish space laser attacks is now zero. Good job, Marjorie, good job. There we go, we're all cheering you on there. You can't mention MTG without mentioning AOC. Three syllable, syllable, syllable house members are special. And for AOC, the next time you wanna get media attention, you don't have to pretend you're being arrested. You can just spray paint your own home, like I did, right? Then there's Adam Schiff in the house, who Joe Biden treats like a son. That's right, Biden asked for a 10% stake in all of Adam Schiff's side businesses. And closing, I do want to close on a serious note. This has been a great women empowerment evening to see so many women. Again, I'm having dinner with Connie Chung. Um, it's amazing. The strides that you have made and history you have made, the ceilings you have broken. I've been there as the first woman to graduate from the Citadel. I know what kind of courage it takes to break those glass ceilings um, and to shatter those and the confidence that you need to be the right woman at the right time and do the job that you're doing. Uh, in closing, with all the media in the room tonight, I want you to know I take nothing you write about me seriously or personally. I used to work at a Waffle House, and whatever you dish out, I've dished out far, far worse. <laughs> and I know everyone thinks Republicans aren't funny, but if you get a bunch of us together, we can be a real riot. <laughs> So Senator Warnock, I just got named, if you didn't know, to House Armed Services Committee. I hope you bomb so hard tonight, you're on the next armed shipment to Ukraine. <laughs> I'm Nancy Mace, I'm here for the next two years. Thank you and good night.